After deciding to begin participating in track days, I knew that I would have to buy a helmet to protect my melon should the worst happen. There's a multitude of options out there, and after a little bit of shopping, I found the one for me. How much helmet does $180 buy you? As it turns out, quite a lot. This is my Conquer Equipment SA2015 rated full face auto racing helmet. It retails for around $180 shipped on eBay, and compared to other helmets in the same price range, it's got a few features that I didn't expect. Let's take a look at those. First, let's talk about these. They're tear-off posts, and while I'm not going to need tear-offs because I'm not driving an open cockpit vehicle or going on dirt or through mud or anything, it's just cool to know that I've got a feature like that on such an inexpensive helmet. Usually you'd go up a ways before you start getting into cool little extras like those. Next, I want to talk about these little holes on the back of the helmet. There's one there and one on the other side. This helmet is pre-drilled for use of a Hans device, and the posts for the straps would go right there. If I ever get more serious with my own driving, or have an opportunity to drive a more sophisticated vehicle that would necessitate the use of a Hans device, it's just good to know that this helmet is upgradable to suit that. There were others in the same price range that were pre-drilled, some were, some weren't, but the total package of this one was hard to argue with. So those were the two big things that really sold me on this helmet. Other things I really liked, there's a lot of character, it's got the ridges on the top, there were more vents in the front and back than other helmets, and what I really liked about this one was that chin spoiler, the arrow chin spoiler, and I didn't really need it, but it made the helmet look cooler, and you know, I'm a, I'm a dumb racer, so I had to pay extra and get the super race car driver looking helmet, but I really like it. A regular Conquer helmet that's smooth top and doesn't have the chin spoiler, it's it's only $10 cheaper, so for $10 more, I figured, why not? Other than that, this helmet's pretty standard fare when it comes to other ones. The whole entire headliner is fire retardant, which is nice, and I do have one complaint about this one, though. Let me sit down so I can show you. It's got a chin strap, as it should, but you can't button the chin strap once it's through. On my old Arai helmet that I had back in my karting days, you could strap the helmet, and then it had a little pop button. This way, it just kind of dangles loose. That's my one small complaint about this helmet, but otherwise, total package, I'm really satisfied, and I'm confident that it's going to protect my head in the event of an accident. Another thing I kind of didn't like was this owner's manual, which hasn't been revised since 1996. Feels a little sketchy, but I'm sure it's fine. You can expect that and this nice drawstring tote bag to come along with your helmet free of charge. And for the sake of the video, here it is installed on my head. I wonder if I can fit my phone to it with the suction cup and get some POV shots. Well, as it turns out, my suction cup will securely stick to the side of my helmet. Unfortunately, my phone is a little bit too big to work in any configuration, so no POV video, unfortunately. I'll have to find another way to get you guys some in-car video from the track. That's okay. I'll find a way. So there you have it. That's my quick review of my new helmet. At $180, it's a budget-friendly option that's chock-full of features and looks good doing it. So, if you're a weekend warrior autocrosser, a track day enthusiast, or even a club racer looking to update your safety equipment, maybe this is the helmet for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.